wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Call it, Sanchez, or you'll get a knuckle supper. systems again because that's what we're doing is constantly switching between bots and streaming platforms it's fine it's fine um but uh yeah so i will give the lamia update which i was gonna do anyway but ellie has asked for it she is doing fine sorry i'm watching her she's like leaning into her water bowl right now that's just what she does though no she's doing all right we are on another round of antibiotics um, because we did another year analysis today. She is still, she still has a bit of an, of an infection, but it is much better than it was last time. Um, last time they found fairly large crystals in her bladder, which was unfortunate. Um, they still found some this time, but significantly, I mean, like, significantly fewer, um, than they found last time. So we are headed in the right direction. She's just got a very, very stubborn UTI. Um, because it cleared up throughout the last couple of weeks, uh, but she started acting a little funny last night, and then was acting weird all of this morning, and I didn't freak out about it because I knew I had an appointment today, uh, and I let them know what was going on, and they are happy with her progress, but we want to make sure that we knock, knock the UTI out entirely. So more antibiotics for the time being. She was a grumpy butt the entire drive, though, which is a better sign than last time, because the last time we took her out, uh, she just sat there. And, di and didn't do anything the entire ride. And usually she just complains and fusses about being in the car. So, uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Here you are. Lean down on your blanket. So she's doing much better, which is great. We're very happy about it. Um, so yeah, she's doing good. Um, I don't, I don't got much else to say about that. <laughs> She's doing well, and I appreciate everyone's concern and and all that for her as well. If she were more cognizant of her surroundings, I'm sure she would also appreciate it. But right now, she doesn't give a shit. She just knows she had stuff shoved up in, in bits that you shouldn't have things shoved up into. And she's a little salty about it. Um, <laughs> but we gave her some medicine uh, just before we started streaming. So here's hoping that this next round will knock it all out. I think Twitch is working. Well, Sarah, I see that you've got you've you've got your emotes back, so that's a better uh, that's better than we were this morning. Um, it is time for me to open my soda. So if y'all wanna prepare, Twitch, stay working. Twitch, you better do it. I haven't had a chance to mess around with the voices yet, so we still got. Andy, not Kim Rold, but replacement Kim Rold for the time being. Also, grip it and rip it, y'all. Exclamation point PST. 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 It's like the sound that it makes when you open it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's Kim Rold's weird cousin. Um, he's trying to convince us that he is Kim Rold, just, you know, has like bronchitis or something. We know better, though. 
Grip and drip. I'm sorry, did he just say grip and drip? Cause that's not what that message says. Weird, weirdo. Thank you, Sarah, for the bits, I appreciate it. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one who heard grip and drip. That's what he said. Andy, Andy, get on Kimrold's level. Fucking Andy. I'll bet Andy's not even an axolotl. Honestly. He's probably like an anteater or some shit. That's what it is when he spilled her. <laughs> or maybe that's just what it is. When you got a dope ass mug. Got that sick drip. <laughs> Damn it, Andy, I have one job. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go, I say as my nose starts running ferociously. Um, are we ready to try and finish out this dang game tonight? <sighs> but now we're listening to some good, good Hollow Knight soundtrack. And I don't want to stop because I love Hollow Knight. Um, it's fine. All good things must come to an end, eventually. Let's turn that off. Let's move on over here. Let me launch the game. That might help. And, uh, it would be great if my cursor would let me do some stuff. Please, game, stop stealing my cursor. <laughs> it is time for the bad swamp, y'all. Okay, um, we wanted to do the mushroom forest side quest before heading into the bad cellar, right? We should also probably take the time to load up on items before we go through the bad cellar. That would probably be a good choice. Excuse me while I move my microphone around. It's not where it's supposed to be. I don't know where it's supposed to be. I just know it's not supposed to be there. Um. Yeah. And thanks, y'all, for hanging out and being patient today while I took my kitty cat to the vet. She is snuggled up under under the table now. I tried to get her tried to get her to let me hold her um, when I sat down to start, but she was not about that life. Which you know what can't blame her. That's cool. I can respect that. <laughs> uh, but she might, she might demand pets a little later on, which is just fine. Okay, we've got... I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. Okay. I think... I mean, we died, so we do have to go get her- we have to go get her body. And it's at the radio tower, which is further than the mushroom forest. Mushroom- mushroom glade, I guess is what they want to call it. Fine. Um... I should be able to put that somewhere. We will make sure to... On, thinking, contemplating, thinking about things, trying to figure out what the best way to, to handle this would be. I suppose we'll figure out how to inventory manage after the glade. This is, this is the run. How many parts do I need for a homemade shotgun? Single shot shotgun. I need tape and I need uh whatever those are. Is it it? Is this it? Are we sure? Are we certain? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> um let's purchase those. Time has stopped right now, so we're just gonna kind of take our time, figure out what's going on. How do we want to handle this situation? If we take, if we, if we take one more step, 
<laughs> also, thank you for the bubble, Sarah. Uh, let's... I'm kind of already sort of planning on dealing with the boss now. If there's a boss, I don't even know if there is a boss. Here's the thing, I don't even know. Hmm. We'll figure out the rest of that in a little bit. I need to sell these. This is what we're doing. Um, I'd like to sell these off. Thank you. And we'll probably wait until no earlier than in game, like tomorrow's in game. I've just wasted all of that. Oh, I didn't. It doesn't doesn't use more than what you can put in there. Good to know. Um, so we'll be able to buy more stuff in the morning. Okay, cool. <gasps> Wait. I want that? There's no more trap there. Oh, I want that. That looks like a thing I can pick up. And I would like it. I don't want to use my Molotov, though. But I kind of need to, because we still haven't figured out how to clear out this bad stuff. Okay, we'll let that do its thing for a minute. <laughs> we'll let that burn out. That looks like a note in there, and I don't think that was there before. If I can grab it, I would like to grab it. Note. Note about the black shell. Can only decipher individual words. Shell. Thick goo. Light. Is this the goo? Do I just... I mean, we got goo. These are facts. We got goo. Look at this. Look at, look at all this goo. Before we... I want to see if I can decipher more than what our sweet little man here can. Note about the black shell? No, because it's written in Russian. Right, never mind. <laughs> I forgot. I don't understand the Cyrillic uh, alphabet. Okay, are we ready? Let's go get that body! It is time. Uh, uh, let's go. <laughs> Quick, let's learn some Russian. <laughs> let's go. It should be simple, right? Ridiculously easy. Not even a, not even an issue. I'm not concerned. I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. I don't think I, I don't think I can understand. Mushroom man! Is there more over the rest of the alphabet? Dog! I thought that those noises were the strangest Devo noises! It's just Devo. Making Devo sounds. It's fine! Evo is a mushroom man? No, thank you. I don't have any health items on me, and this is a bit of this is a bit of a problem. I thought I had. Thought I had items. But I do not. <laughs> it's probably for the best. We should also. Uh, they also mentioned that like there was an explosion in the junkyard. And I have I have shared my concerns about the explosion in the junkyard. Is that something else that we would like to explore? Thoughts on junkyard explosion? Trying to make our way south a little bit. <laughs> um... 
struggle to remember the Russian alphabet. Don't know much about Kev, though. <laughs> that does not help. Don't need two boys in space? Okay. All right. We won't, we won't look into the junkyard, then. I mean, we all know Piotrek is in, is in space. Obviously. <laughs> Clearly, whatever's in the junkyard has absolutely nothing to do with our boy. What's this? That is not the way. Alright, so we'll just do the mushroom glade and then head for the, uh, head for the exit. That's a rope. I don't need that. I abandoned that for a reason. Um, but yeah, okay, so I know that we've got, like, this is the last chapter, technically, and there is an epilogue, but I am a little concerned that there's, like, there's going to be a safe house on the other side, um, so we might do what we did before and kind of bring some survival supplies with us, but mostly focus on weapons and health items. Where am I? I have gone past where we're supposed to go, but there are holes everywhere? Hello? There are eyeballs in that hole. Holes! It's quite a wide tunnel. There are finger marks on the ground? It must have been dug out using bare hands. I wonder where it leads. I mean, it is a hole for man, obviously. Ah, 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 no, 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 um, but we know that they're there as sort of a, a last resort kind of a situation if we absolutely, absolutely need it. Did not appreciate Centipede Man coming out to say hello. This fucking box, though. What time is it? 11? Don't make those sounds. I appreciate that everything stays dead. <laughs> like, I really like that everything that we've killed here has stayed dead. Also, slug friend. Uh, sounds like a teleport hole. Just video conferencing system on a boat. <laughs> a teleport hole! I see. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a one time use kind of thing. You know we don't get to come back through it. It's all done. Okay, let's grab our stuff. I don't. I want to know how to get past this. Doesn't matter doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's just go. <laughs> it's only noon. We got we got time to uh This is the wrong way. We've got time to uh explore the glade a little bit before we absolutely have to head back to the safe house. search through that. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I just hope that when we, uh, 
go to rest up tonight. That we don't have another another banshee attack. Cause that'd be extremely unfortunate. Um But it's fine. You know why? Because we don't have to come back to the radio tower anymore. We're done with the radio tower. It's time to go to the Mushroom Blade. I feel like there might be something, like, interesting in the middle of this lake as well, but I am not nearly courageous enough to go check that out myself. Where is it? There it is. Up there. That's fine. We don't need to go check that out. We can just leave. We can do this miraculous thing where we just walk away from this. This is not our problem. All of this here? All of this lake here? Not for us. Okay. Mushroom blade. What bad things... With guns? You didn't see shit night I saw the no one from the village goes no one from the outside was here where were they from they were not from the village okay okay that's cool um great I feel like this is a I feel like this is a bad choice that we're making right now. <laughs> Time has not stopped here. That is correct. Because we are still in the regular map. We do need to kind of where the lady lives? Hey, lady! Do I have... I need him to continue to see the light. I need to be able to run through here, don't I? That's gonna be a bit of an issue. I think we need some flares. That might be how we resolve that problem. I am curious as to what else is in here. <gasps> Footprints! Can I not look at them? Chest over there. What is going on? Oh, hi, Mushroom House. This is kind of unfortunate. So we came way. here to burgle Jesus. your turts. <laughs> spooked me. You spooked me. What's that? Don't stir me like that. Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor, even though it looks like it's made of wood, bends under my feet. A white colorless goo seeps from the ceiling and walls. Mushroom granny? That is a mushroom granny. Hold on a second. Um. There she is! Hi, mushroom granny. You doing okay over there, ma'am? Oh. That was the wrong thing. 
An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushroom grows out from beneath her thick hair. Try to pick a mushroom from the old woman's head. Wake the old lady. Can I wake her? The old lady, slo lady slowly opens her eyes. For a moment she stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally she becomes aware of my presence. Wait, you're not... Her empty eyes now take on a questioning expression. Didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right, then gazes around the mushroom-infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want. And you want something, since you're standing here in front of me, right? Eat the old lady! Why is- <laughs> Excuse me! Hold on a minute. How did we go from- From just waking an old lady up, or- Or- <laughs> I'm not gonna do it! <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna point my finger at the door. It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing that would interest you there. The old lady puffs her cigarette. Come back when you remember what it is you want from me. Can I show her the child's drawing? The old lady takes a drawing and squints her eyes. Yes. You're his father? Or brother? He came here a few days ago. He was very nervous. He hid in the corner and stayed there for what must have been the whole day. He relaxed in the end. I think he liked it here. I like when he's around too. He enjoys drawing, although his drawings are not very childlike. The woman casts a nervous look at the small window overgrown with mushrooms. This forest is not a place for children, nor old people. It's a place for the likes of you. I saw some villagers through the window yesterday. They were hiding. Right there. The woman raises her hand with great effort, pointing to an unspecified place with her trembling finger. They were hiding, but I have a keen eye, despite my years. I saw their hungry, hollow eyes. I know what's on their mind. The game asks if you, if you want to eat an old lady, you say yes. That's just how it is. Look, we still have the option to eat her, but I would like to get as much information out of her as possible before we do an eat. They want to devour me! Me and my house! First I thought you're one of them, but you seem like you can control your, um, appetite. Get rid of those hungry madmen. The old woman lowers her voice to a silent murmur. Do a good deed, son, and get rid of them. I don't know where they live, but you're young and strong. We'll manage. I'm sure you'll find some clues near my house. If you make them go away, and the child will be safe, I will let him return home. Learning from people before eating them is a basic vampire science. Okay, alright. Old lady examines the photo and her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road, and then they closed it. Set up a fence and a gate. Both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it, it, it was. What if we... What if we help the little kid? Don't have a code for that. Need a key. What if we help the kid and then we come back and do it? Except on the mushroom. Like, we can, we can play this both ways. Do <laughs> we hate a landlord? Ask, ask questions later. Do and eat first. <laughs> it's because he was scummy. Didn't matter what else we found out about him. He was a landlord, therefore he was scummy. Okay, let's follow the footprints. There's a bag. Bag with a missing strap. Someone must have lost it recently. Looks like it's been lying here for a short while. Torn cigarette pack. The caption at the bottom reads, Return south edge of swamp. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on the time. It is 4 p.m. South edge of the swamp. Return the slab. Or face my curse. Edge of the swamp. Sorry, I want to look at that again. Return south edge of the swamp. Do we recognize this at all? Would it be the quarry? Do you think? 
Like, it would have to be, right? I mean, we gotta go this general way to get back home. So what if we just head over there? I, like, we've been there before, though. And I don't remember seeing anyone there. Sawmill? Sawmill? Give me those. Give me those. Don't get stuck on the things. Okay, I think it's gone. Oh, we need to go home. <laughs> we gotta go home. That was the quarry, though, so we just need to go north? Here's somebody. Or something. <laughs> Nobody tells me nothing. Well. Well. It's unfortunate. Our guy and his lack of stamina will actually be the death of me. Please, my dude. We're almost there. We have to be almost there. Dog, I hear you, dog. There's the holes! The holes mean home. You love to see it. Metal scrap. You don't love to see that. <laughs> um, thinking. We got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's... Do this. Let's close that up. Please grab the wardrobe. Please grab the wardrobe and scoot and scoot it in front of the door. Thank you. My goodness. Um we have a few too many boards. That's okay. Better too many than not enough. Um, I also have too many rags. That's weird. Let's take one of those. I didn't put this one away. Whoopsies. Let's get that in there. We got a lot of scrap. You love to see that. I'm gonna keep this for the tunnel. We can sell that. What is that? Tubular magazine. A tubular magazine. What do I need that for? Who knows? Let's do that. Okay. And it is time... For us to hide. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
secret tunnel? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. I still haven't set that up as a, a sound effect either. I got my work cut out for me over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain! Secret, 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 secret tunnel! I'll just sing it for you in the meantime. I hear people stomping around outside. No stomp. No stop. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Someone set off a trap. I don't love to hear it. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Just hanging out here in the uh, in our lovely little little corner. <laughs> we love Avatar The Last Airbender here. If you've not seen it, you need to. Gotta really reconsider watching it. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Good clips. It's, but it's, but it's good. But it's a good show. Would it help if we just called it a cartoon? Who I don't know where this I don't know what's getting attacked, but I don't like it. <gasps> Who's this door? I see. I understand. Take your time, Sarah. We'll be here when you get back. Break the metal door down. What if I just hide over here? Will it stop trying to attack that door? He's just stomping away at that door. will withstand attacks, but I also don't want to push it and find out that it it will eventually break, you know? It's five in the morning. Let's fucking go. We got two hours. Lily equals A. Prove me wrong. Travis. What is this? situation that we're in. I would like for everything to stop. <laughs> Please. Okay. Thank God. Spooky scary doesn't scare me anymore. Sorry. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well. <laughs> valid. You know what? No, valid. 100%. I'm here for it. I do love spooky, scary skeletons. I will not be mad anytime it gets played. Just saying. Doesn't scare me like it used to. <laughs> um. All right. What else? What else we got? What do we got? Let's put all of our stuff back where it belongs. Um. Hiding in there is a good option. It kind of sucks when things do spawn in there, like. The, uh, Bad Red Orb. Bad Red Orb is bad. We know this now. <laughs> um. But also... We do have options to hide. I don't need to, I don't need to move that. This is going to be one of the few times where I actually agree with you on that, Fruity. Um, orb is bad. Do not touch this orb. I am not a fan. Orb, very bad. Okay, let's buy... More health, more ammo. And... Uh... That? Those? I don't really, like... I mean, we're still at the point where I don't have to, like, worry about how much I'm spending. Because we got so much reputation. And it's really nice, honestly, having as much as we have. Should I make another homemade shotgun? I have a single shot shotgun and a homemade shotgun. I just don't understand the difference between the two. Aside from, like, the parts. They're both useless after you use them the once. No! Homemade shotgun lets you have two shots, I think? I think we fi figured that out last time. Let's go ahead and make one. I like how I keep making weapons that I can't necessarily use very well. <laughs> That's a fun thing that we're doing. Oh, wow. We're full up. You know what? Actually, I can sell this. This can get sold. That goes out. This we're going to hold on to. It's a military flashlight. That's also a military flashlight. Sometimes the items look very, very similar. We're going to save all of the scrap to repair our weapons if we have to. I wish we could find more bottles. That would be really great. And I wish it would stop raining. We don't like the rain. The rain makes everything really difficult. Uh, and kind of complicated. Alright, let's go ahead and sell that. I really don't actually need any more wood planks, so we'll go ahead and sell that as well. And I think I'm happy with our purchases for now. So I guess it's time to go to that quarry. That's the only place that looks like it would fit the picture that we found. So let's go. Let's get out of here. It's so very dark. If it could stop raining, I would love that. Difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. <laughs> ah, spider! Ah, 
I didn't mean to hit that. You know what? No, actually, I did. Get out of here. I want you gone. That's your motivation! No! No, I missed! I heard someone! Better it's not gonna stay moist. No! <laughs> also, I don't care if that's my motivation. I hate it. Hate. I have figured out their attack pattern, though, so we can take them out as needed. Which is pretty nice. That's- <laughs> I meant to turn that off. Damn it! Wait. I think that's what was drawn. Those are the wrong goals. Not for this game. Don't listen to Travis, it's all a lie. Wait, where, where am I supposed to go? Look, game, I need to be able to move. Here? No, that's a dead end. And I think anything further over here is technically not the quarry. Okay. So, how am I supposed to get in? I know we've gotten in before. I need this freaking rain to give up. I don't have a, a light on me, do I? Nope, not at all. Great. Is that it? I think that's it. There's a wheelbarrow? Yeah. Hi, bear traps. pig. We have no comment. It's just, it's a pig on a tree. Great. Divine retribution, I tell ya. Come on, Yozik. Just as we managed to break through, our way back was blocked. <laughs> Ouch! Stop! <laughs> I wish I could hit multiple enemies at once! Please. You guys don't even have anything, like, worthwhile on you. My goodness. Okay, let's eat those pills. <laughs> Nothing here. Backpack. There's a potato, though. Give me the bear trap. It's 11... It's 11 a.m. already! This, I think, is the boulder that we saw. Why are there so many potatoes? Come on, you guys. Come on. Or is this it? <laughs> I am a potato! I create sack of meat. I miss sack of meat. Looks like it's the only way to the old quarry. Things are old and soaked in water. They probably support some giant stone. But a solid blow could shake the whole construction. Boulder might fall down any minute now. Must be careful not to trap myself in the quarry.
This item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. <laughs> the way he fell, though. <laughs> the way he fell, though. <gasps> My shit's stuck. This item is no longer usable. That's fine. You know what? Piece of garbage anyway. Oh my god, please. I should have done this one first, but I figured if I... What's going on? I got the achievement Trapped Villagers? Oh, we're naughty! Sucks for them. And that's a raw fact. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Alright, let's just get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> I liked that rock fact. I will set you free. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. I do miss Sack of Meat, though. Like, honestly. They were great. Um, alright. Let's... Sack of Meat reminds me a bit of GLaDOS. A hundred percent! They're probably related. Let's be real. Like, distant cousins or something. Hold on. Is this not the lake? It is. Okay, so then the glade is here. Let's go find... Let's go find our, our old lady friend. Maybe do a nom? Do we, uh... Feeling a little bit peckish? Could stop for a bit of a snack? <laughs> Sagami becomes GLaDOS. It was destined. It was meant to be. Right, I can't go this way. Gotta go this way. Gotta take the long way around. Because ma'am here likes to live with all these mushrooms everywhere. Hey. <gasps> Pliers! Key on a key ring, a colorless key. It feels soft to the touch. There's a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Is that for the uh, the cabin in the shack? Hi, <gasps> Ami. Darkwood is going good. We trapped a bunch of villagers by uh, by dropping a rock on their path, and now we're talking to Mushroom Granny. It's good. And what news? Have you gotten rid of those greedy mob or the this greedy mob that wants to get me? The old lady smiles, revealing her white, toothless gums. She leans in her armchair and grabs me by my hand heartily. I feel the white goo seeping from her hand, smelling of mushrooms. You're a good man, Sonny. The woman proceeds, uh, produces a small key from under her skirt. Here, take the boy to his family. He will probably be safer there. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you a beautiful gift for your trouble. Torn empty pack of cigarettes. Bring a fresh one next time. Oh, yeah, no, ma'am, I already figured out that it was the quarry. I did the thing. Yeah, I'm really cons- I- okay. We'll wait until tomorrow, because she's gonna give us a thing, right? And I want to get the thing. Hello. Hello, Sunny. Look at the notes. Is there a monster in the bad hut? Hello, child. Oh, this poor kid. Hold on a second. He looks fairly normal, though. Which is, you know, a welcome, a welcome change. Uh, the boy is standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. His lush mop of hair veils a restless, wide-open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering, as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses his back against the soft wall, which starts to ooze a white goo. Uh, 
He probably has a bunny mask. Well, the, in that case, we gotta do a punt. We just gotta kick him. Kneel and extend your arm towards the boy. The boy's terrified. Slowly, he slumps down from the wall to the ground, curling into a ball. Uh, the murmur turns into a loud uh, recitation. One little bear ate a bowl of soup, then another bear came and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden pow. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. Let's put the boy on our back and lead him to his family. When I take the boy into my arms, he starts screaming, reciting the rhyme over and over. This is gonna be a long journey. Shit. Oh, they just, okay, cool. I was like, I'm gonna have to run through this goddamn swamp with this child on my back and everything is gonna try and, and get me. They just automatically get me here. That's, a, that's great. I love that for me. He brought back my child. The woman leans towards the boy. Marcin, where have you been? The boy stares at the ground in silence. Come here. Marcinek walks towards the woman, nervously plucking at his old torn sweater. Look at you, where's your mask? And the gas tank from your gracious brother. Love protects us. Hills are long with clean air. And this is how you thank him, young man? Childish behavior made him very, very angry. Now we will all have to apologize to him for your stupidity. Two kids standing behind their mother flinch. I'm not sure that bringing him back was actually a good idea. The woman grabs the boy's hand and disappears in the hallway. After a while, she comes back with an oxygen tank. Take it. It's a tank for you. It will protect you from this devilish air. The devil's breath and other evils lurking in this foul place. It's the only thing I have, the only thing I can give you. Take is a little rusty, but it seems attacked. On the, si uh, on the side, I can see some unintelligible scribblings. The valve opens with a little resistance, but I don't hear the hiss of air. It's empty. Do not open the valve without need. You will only waste the clean air. She pushes my hand away from the valve and closes it hastily. It serve you well. Um... Is that our little buddy in there? Locked, I need a key. None of my keys fit! What time is it? Two? Okay. Is this the old shed? I am concerned about our, our buddy here, but we did get a key that had some flowers on it and there is the shed which also had flowers like around it maybe I think that's where the the key that we found in mushroom Grammy's house goes to no so if we can get back to the old hut Flower, <laughs> flower shed? Sounds lovely. I don't know. Yeah, so here's the trail of flowers that goes to the hut. But we couldn't get in because we didn't have a key, right? But I think there's a monster in there. No, it needed a code. What was that boy's rhyme? What was his rhyme? Shit. So I think that's the code. Was it one, two, four, five? Are we certain? I mean, we can try it. We have to do some exploration t tomorrow, in game tomorrow. So, like, if we don't get it now we can always go back find out what it is one two four five Luna got a good memory the air is dreadfully rancid and stuffy the heavy sweet smell of flowers mixes with the scent of rot Corpse, probably of a young boy. Oh, so you can get an oxygen tank either way. 
pages are glued together, creating a rotting clump of paper. There's a note at the bottom. Radio Tower, Door 21, 12 p.m. Kolozek. I have no idea how to pronounce any of these names. At the top, I can only make out the words Devil Horns, Orga. The rest of the words are unreadable. H Hello? Not bees. Also, it said elephant shed? What was that? It's in our journal. We need to catch up on some stuff. Is the time moving while I'm in my journal? It is not. Okay. Um. Oh, the rhyme was here. In our book. Makes sense. Okay, so... Mushroom Granny, I met an old lady in a cottage overgrown with bizarre mushrooms. In fact, she was no less no less strange than her house. No less strange than anything here. Um, favor for the Mushroom Granny. Mushroom Granny maintains that there are some uh, starving villagers that are that plan to eat her. She will let me take the boy only after I've taken care of them. However, she was unable to tell me where they live. She advised me to look around the cottage. Maybe I'll be able to find some clues there. time pausing to let you read is nice. I need that same. Um, day 39, weird rhyme. The boy kept reciting this rhyme. One little bear ate a bowl of soup. Then another bear came and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden paw. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. Or pow. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. Boy returns to the family. Took the boy back to his family. I uh, received an oxygen tank from the masked woman. Unfortunately, it's empty. Maybe able to fill it using the compressor. I reached a shed near the elephant's cottage. Oh, okay. That, yeah, because that's what we were calling the family. Inside, I found a decaying corpse and a lot of equipment. Probably found it in the woods. There's some oxygen tanks here. Empty ones. I may be able to fill them with oxygen using the compressor. Found an old journal in the elephant's cottage. Looks like it was written by one of ours. One of the notes mentions a radio tower and some downward passage. Might be worth investigating. According to the notes, the radio tower is located in the southwestern edge of the swamp. Well, that's where, that's the passage that we're trying to get to, right? Like, we've already located that. Big old yikes. Okay, so we have... Well, I'm glad we've done this. It seems like it's a thing that we needed. <laughs> um... We... We'll need to... Yeah, because we've already located the passage at the station, right? Um, so we will pack up and, like, get ready to head out tomorrow, right? We'll stop to, to visit Granny, see what she has, and depending on what she's given us... Um, we might wait another day, but, like, we're pretty much good to go, which we got that done in, like, an hour, uh, which is much better than I was anticipating. Here's our house. My house. That's my house. No, I mean, we definitely gotta eat Granny. My, I... Didn't include that in our list of things to do because I'm worried that she's going to leave us an item and not be there. Which, if that's the case, then we can't do an eat, right? Makes sense. Can't can't eat a granny if the granny's not there. But... Uh, if she is there, after we get the item, 100% we will we'll do a chomp on granny. Look, I just wanted the items. <laughs> I don't, I don't give a shit about Granny. Let's... Let's repair our stuff real fast, right? Um, I don't need the pitchfork. So I'm not gonna repair that. We will upgrade the workshop, though. There's so much. Couldn't make that, so that's unfortunate. I could make a double barrel shotgun, though. I need... Oh, I can't. Hope we didn't miss our chance to eat grandma. I also hope we didn't miss a chance to eat grandma. But if we did, it is what it is. 
I could get a double barrel shotgun if I can purchase two barrels. I should have I should have waited to make all of this stuff. Fucking hell. Oh well. That's okay. Um hardened and more nails. We're gonna sell this in the morning. We will sell this and this. We'll fill up those. Put that there. Tubular magazine, I guess, can go there. I've got more than enough rags. So we can fill up on... Um, on healing items before we dip. Put that there. We've got a little bit of time before night, so let's go ahead and take care of these tanks. Yeah? Filled all the oxygen tanks. A tank filled with oxygen. Beautiful. You love to see it. Also, so the elephants... Here I am just casually referring to them as that. Uh, the elephant family did mention that we looked like a monster, right? And it's because we've been breathing the air or whatever. Um, and I thought maybe that they were just mistaking a normal human for a monster. Because everyone we've met thus far has been a monster of some to some degree. Um, do you think that... Us injecting ourselves with mushrooms has made us gross. And if so, do you think their dialogue would have changed if we hadn't leveled ourselves up? Just a little thing I'm kind of curious about, but it's not... I don't know. Just thinking about... Just thinking about things. Um... We'll put that in there really need gasoline do we i mean it'd be good to have when we go into the tunnels because i'm sure we'll find uh, a generator that means it taking mushroom grandma will make us big gross <gasps> oh maybe open open my goodness quite possibly I wonder if that's a way to, like, catch up on levels if if we hadn't done that earlier, you know? Or if that gives you, like, grants you an extra level. That'll be interesting to see. Ooh. Okay. Cool. I like this game. I'm definitely gonna play again at some point, uh, because I'd like to try and do... I know I've talked about it a little bit, but I would like to try and do things a little differently than I have. Um, I mean, absolutely, we're gonna we're gonna do an eat. As long as Grandma is there to get chomped, we're gonna do a chomp. <laughs> that's just that's just how it goes. But Grandma seemed like she had a lot to offer us as far as items were concerned, and I would like to also get all of the items. I want to be as prepared as possible for the end. Um, so we're gonna be as prepared as possible, you know? It is officially nighttime. Let's fucking go. We'll just live in this corner, because this worked well for us last time. Whee! Bugs. No, those bugs were always there. Oh. 
Someone's attacking a door. It's fine. I think we'll be fine. literally just gonna be us standing here all night. Oh, they're going for the window there. Got multiple things attacking. Now they're going for the door. Can we be done? Look, you guys aren't gonna get me, so let's just Let's just quit while we're ahead, yeah? They broke the door? And now they're going back for the window. What is it? Spiders. Human spiders? Sounds like human spiders. Unfortunate. I don't like their noises. Come on, it's 2.30. Let's go. They're gooping everywhere! I need them to not goop! We finally broke through the window. That's a dog. Dog and spider going at it. Goop is spreading. Goop has gotten a little bigger. It's always the goop, Emmy. Always. It's fine. Have they just given up? It sounds like they've just gone. Cause goop is easy. Goop is accessible. No, they're back. Stop gooping! Is that a dog? That goop is going everywhere. That's a bit of a problem because all my Molotovs are in the workshop. Oh no, goop! <laughs> Goop, don't come in here! Please, I've got two hours! Those are bad sounds. That's a human spider just casually trying to break into our door. Does this does the spider and the and the dog not fight each other? That seems incorrect. It's fine. Human spider? Or spider man? No, because I kept hearing the dog. I don't know. It was weird. Ugh. Got, got our Molotov. You know what? Actually, no, because that'll hurt me. This is our very last Molotov, and I'm kind of, like, actually heartbroken about that. It's fine. We'll let that do its thing for a little bit. Um, that's cool. Take your time. Go, go rest. Do the rest thing. It is important. Uh, let's sell all of this. Except... They have one. I need another. Just let me have another. Please? 
Maybe we will wait one more day in game. Can you stop with the goop? I need to heal up. <laughs> Why are you fly sometimes? Every once in a while, he'll do a float. Not very often though. It's it's very sad. Um I wonder if it's like a cooldown thing or like I mean it didn't have any cooldown options when I was looking at it. But if you do it too soon after another person, maybe it just like does not acknowledge it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's put the shell in there. Let's put this away and let's put this away. I want another friggin' I need I need another barrel! Ah! Hmm. Let's go ahead and make some bandages. Because I'm not going to have near enough Molotovs. Or like, even if I find bottles, um, I'm not gonna have enough to do anything with the amount of rags that I have. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Just a little bit, you know? Um bring that number down just a smidge. We'll put these down here. I guess I'll put all my healing items down here, right? Um. Okay. So then where are we trying to go? Granny. We gotta go visit Granny. Um. And we have to come back anyway because I want that shotgun. And so, they gooped so much. Uh, so we'll have to spend another night, right? Single days, like 20-ish minutes. We can, uh, we can wait another day before we go. I think having the shotgun with as much, with, with as many shotgun shells as we have, I think it would be beneficial for us to bring or to wait so that we can make a shotgun. It's kind of kind of my my line of thinking, right? Dog, I hear you and I want you to just leave before before you're even a problem. I want you to just go away. But yeah, once we once we check on grandma, see what she's she's got for us. We and depending on the time, we might run to the junkyard. No, I think we'll be fine. We will uh Yeah, we'll just we'll prep for our for our final trek down into the uh into the new tunnel. We'll have plenty of healing items, plenty of weapons, uh, both melee and long range. And, uh, and, and then depending on how full our inventory is at that point, we'll try and bring some, some stuff with us. Work bench stuff is what I was trying to say. Please, Granny, where is your where is your mushroom blade? Here it is. Hello, mushroom Granny. I know we've already said it, but I will be I will actually be sad if we can't do a chomp on her anymore. Of the cottage have been eaten. You mother fuckers. I am upset.
fucking ate Granny. Get to this crate now, though. Wow, what a bunch of great stuff! Well, there's our long barrel. Don't need to don't need to purchase any more of those. Where does this go? The door seems to be blocked from the other side. Look, I can break this door, so we're gonna? I am going to absolutely demolish our poor little board doing this, but... We still have... But if I had a lockpick, well, you do. You do have a lockpick. I am saddened by the granny situation. At least we got some good items out of it, but like... Come on. <laughs> but like, come on. Let's head back. We have the long barrel. We can technically make that double barrel shotgun now. This is bad sound. Can you not? Gonna... Excuse you, I'm trying to run! Bad. Bad centipede man. Go away, centipede man! I wasn't even bothering you! I don't know where I am. <laughs> Lost. And we're hurting. What's this? Adrenaline. I deal double damage. It's pretty alright. Please. <laughs> Game. I just want to get out of this bad little maze. Oh, we're at the junkyard. I've gone too far north. Well, we're here. I'm so upset. <laughs> I wanted to do a eat on Grandma. Nope, we absolutely should have. I'm gonna drop that. We have one at home. I don't need that. I'll take that. I don't need that either, though. What am I doing? I'm just gonna pretend that we didn't see what was in that, ex that crash site. This day's gone from bad to worse. I just wanted to dig up some trash. That was all. Whatever. <sighs> Everything is tragic. I want to go home. Hello, 
Devo. It's a sad day. On the plus side, we know that Piotrek did get off the ground, and I'm sure he was absolutely ecstatic about about that. So we're gonna we're gonna just think about Piotrek being in in space. It's what it's what our boy would have wanted. Oh. <sighs> I think we're near our house? We are. Look at that! I kind of know where I am now in the swamp. That's exciting. I forgot to turn the generator off! It's a good thing I got more than enough gasoline to serve, like, to get through! Wowie. I didn't see what our workshop needed uh, for another upgrade. Right? This is <laughs> this is as low as it gets. It's terrible. I have everything that I need to upgrade. Our workbench is fully upgraded. Can't upgrade it anymore. I can buy I can buy enough weapons parts in the morning. I can buy weapons parts so that we have enough to make a pump action shotgun instead of just whatever instead of just the double barrel shotgun. Also Travis, please. Please Travis. <laughs> I dropped my scrap. I didn't mean to. We're trying. We're trying our best, okay? Okay. Go ahead and use up all of these. Um, we can stack those back up. We can... Don't think we'll need... Okay, just checking the time. We have plenty of time. Let's... Oh, I don't have a board. Oopsies. That's fine. Don't really need one. I've got two. I've got two axes. Can we upgrade sturdy blade. Better materials. I don't have. There were some rocks not too far away. I don't think. <laughs> not the ha ha's. Not the ha ha's. Awful. Terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to wander off too far, but I feel like there were... There were some rocks nearby somewhere. Can't spam because you're on mobile. Ah! Good. I wouldn't be mad about you spamming it though. Do it. Do it. Um. I know that there was generally just meat in these holes, right? It's just, it's just a meat hole. <sighs> Tragic. I just never, like, think to grab the rocks because we haven't ever really needed them. I know there were some at the quarry, but that's so far away. You don't have any. Have I put any rocks in here? No, but there is a knife. What do you have? A knife! No! Well... You... you? You don't have any rocks. Why does no one have any rocks? Where's a single rock when you need it? 
It's fine. What else did I need? Less stamina. I could technically do all of them if I had any of the supplies that I needed. I would need three pipes and four rocks. What do you need? A shovel head. And two pipes. Okay, well that's fine. We don't need to do any of that. We will, however, repair this. Because why not? Um, got some scrap just sitting around. But no, I need the flares. We need those for this evening. Let's go ahead and make a couple more lock picks because we need to clear up the inventory space. Um, we'll sell these in the morning. Mm, I like keeping my stuff there. This is the sell pile, right? This right here. Put those away. Actually, let's just go ahead and, uh, do some barricading. I got the supplies. We might as well, right? Like, let's, let's go ahead and waste all of this stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Barricade that door. Barricade that. Not search. Build? Repair. Let's put that where we need it. Chair, I need you out of the way. Okay. All right. I am cl I am holding. Mouse, I don't know how much more you want me to click on this. I have held it. It is there. Can we fix this door? Beautiful. Nope, that's all goop. And uh, that's open, but I can't really get there. You know what? Let's just run through the goop. It's fine. Anything else to do with my stuff? Can I get through here and still heal up in time? Kind of. Could have been worse. Let's go ahead and turn the stuff on. I did I did refill that. Okay, we're good. Um it's barricade. Oh, don't have enough planks. That's <laughs> shocking. That's much more manageable now. Um, oxygen tank can stay there. This will get sold. That'll get sold. I guess we can sell that too. These will go in here. I need the flares for this evening. I have bandages. Those will go there. Let's go ahead and do this. Move this around like this and uh, and that's how we'll well I guess still have a little bit of time to mess around we want these the flares we probably won't take with us because what's the point I'm gonna move these here. Hmm. This will be the space for our shotgun. Is 
But I do have all these shotguns. <laughs> I have too many weapons. Which is not something I ever thought I would have a concern about in this game. I always thought I was just going to be, like, barely scraping by. But at this point, we are stacked. <laughs> we got everything that we could possibly need. And that's extremely exciting. Hi, Devo. You doing, sweet man? Yeah? Oh, I gotta sit up a little bit. We don't have any Molotovs, which is tragic. Um, I wish... I wish I had, like, put it together sooner that I could use empty bottles to make Molotovs. I think I did, but I was just like... Sorry, I heard something. Um, also Banshee... Um... Yeah, I think I knew I needed bottles to make Molotovs, but I, like, wasn't using them super early on. And I needed, I needed reputation, and it was a, a cheap way to get, like, 30 rep at any given time with uh, the trader. So. But you can say, do the thing, and I'll laugh for you. Travis. Travis. <laughs> Also, here they come, trying to break through all of our barricades. Boop. 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 The key cat under my desk. <laughs> Y'all are the worst. Love you guys. I'm sorry I was bothering you. I just wanted to pet you, Lamia. They threw that door open. They're breaking through this barricade now. They're pushing my lamp lamp around. Debo, I don't think you'll fit in that box. You can try. <laughs> there are bugs out there, and that's extremely unfortunate. They're gooping again! Can they not? I need them to not. I don't have a way of, like, getting rid of that goop. Except maybe... With, like a gas tank? I think I've got some like flammable tanks off uh, on the side of the house, but like I'd still have to step in the goo to place it down. This is exceedingly unfortunate. I'm tired of this motherfucking goop in this motherfucking shack. <laughs> Woof. Um, 
Fruity, I will watch you play these Muppet fishing games. I'll watch you fish. I will not fish, though. This is bad! Everything is gooped! Why is it all goopy? Let's just go ahead and dismantle that, actually. Now I don't have to run through the goop anymore. <sighs> okay, we were gonna sell the batteries and that. We were gonna sell the boards. Cool. Um, before I sell... No, I need the weapons parts. Weapon parts. Shell. Okay. Before I do anything else, we are going to make our pump action shotgun. Fucking fantastic. Look at that bad boy. Um, let's go ahead and put the nails in here because I don't need those. That will go there. Flares... I'm of a mind to keep. And I like these. I like pills more than I like the bandages. Mm. Hold on. We're going to put those in there. Okay. All right, so don't think it would hurt to have another shotgun on us. Another couple of shotguns on us, right? We have enough healing items. We have our watch. We have ammo for our handgun. We'll take some more. We have ammo for our shotgun. We have extra shotguns, two singles, one double, batteries for the flashlight. Don't really need the flares then, do I? Let's take those in place of the regular ones. We'll take some scrap, we'll take some boards. And we'll take some... not nails. I want to take the nails, though. Do you think it's worth taking the shovel? No. The answer is no. Mm, well, what if we need it? We'll leave the scrap. And then take some nails. Are we happy with this inventory setup for the end of the game? think so. I think I'm happy with this. Hold on. Because we're not going to bring any of these back, I will just top off the, the handgun with what we've got. I know it says a key to tunnel number 21. I don't think it's of any use. They wouldn't expect me to need it, right? Like, especially if it's, like, a, a point of no return. They wouldn't be like, oh. You don't need this. And then I actually do secretly need this. Not me just overthinking everything. <laughs> okay. I think I'm pleased with this. I think... It's endgame time. Y'all ready? I am actually going to move these around. Because I usually have melee set to one. And then we'll keep handgun there. Shotgun will be next under that. Okay. What moves do we have? Heal by an electric light source, scream, runner. Just reminding myself that they're there. 
It's time to go. Should we take the tunnel? I'm scared the centipede man is gonna be angry at us, but it's also much quicker to just dip through that tunnel and then run to the radio tower. I think we'll do it that way. Don't be mad, centipede man. This is the only other time I'm gonna use your use your holes. Okay. Large hole in the ground, let's go. Don't worry, centipede man, I'm leaving. They're your holes. I know. I got it. All yours. Not even an issue. <laughs> beautiful you love to see it and look it's only 8 14 and we're already at the radio tower what a great what a great day fuck i'm re i'm ready for this game to be done but also i am a. Uh, but also i'm not i've really enjoyed this um I was a little concerned at first when we started playing. Just because, like, it was rough. It was a rough start. And not knowing what was going on or, like, how to handle things. But this has been a fun experience. All right. Yeah, that one door. I'm really glad, like, it sucks that we struggled with that, but I'm really glad that you and I struggled with that, like, off stream. <laughs> um, that's a crate. Is the... Is it not here? Or was it over here? It might be over here. Um... Yeah, that one door, real fucking rough. <laughs> yeah, no, also glad that it was just the one door. Hold on, there's a corpse? I thought I had searched it. How have I not searched all these corpses? There was a second one in there. Um, I'm glad it was just the one door that gave us an issue. But might be fresh, which is a little concerning. Let's go ahead and, uh... Looks like the door will only open if I close the previous one. That's a bit of an issue. Uh oh. Where is my stuff? Where are my things? Game. Game. Set. It doesn't look like this flashlight is losing life. Can you hear someone calling incomprehensibly from the depths of the corridor? <laughs> it's endgame BB! Gotta do it, Freddy. Come. Come to me. I 
don't know what that says. The words come to me have been scratched onto the ground. I don't know that that's what that says, but all right. <gasps> Shiny stones. Fragments of bloodied cloth lie on the trunk. I don't know that following this voice is the right option. also seems wrong. I don't see any stones. I would hope time had stopped. This doesn't seem right. Okay, so that was that was the incorrect way. a stone. Okay, so we're going the right way again. I have so many stones in my fucking inventory. This is genuinely tense. Lou! Hello! Why is my announcement not working? Hey, alert box! I don't know why there's no raid alert, but welcome in, raiders! Lou, how's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> it it looks like stream elements is just being broken. All right. Why are those not working? Well, that wouldn't be stream elements, would it? Why is why is Streamlabs tripping out? Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders! How's it going? How are you doing? How are things? How was Animal Crossing? No, it's all good. I, I caught on eventually. Still don't know why there was no raid announcement. That's a little upsetting. Stream elements. Get on the ball. Um, Lou, Faunus, how are you guys? How are things? How was your stream? Um, welcome in, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kaysher. I'm an LGBTQ plus streamer and focuses on horror and mystery games. It's definitely a big switch in, in vibes from Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, we are at the very, very end of a game called Darkwood. It is very spooky, very tense. If you need them, we do offer content warnings for every single game that we play. Um, Blown Apart has pulled those up for you if you want to take a quick look at those to see if this is the kind of game that you would like to sit around for. Um, yeah. Yeah. About, it's about all I gotta say about that. Welcome in, Lou. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My hair is always some sort of some sort of fun color. Doing purple right now. Have been doing purple for a while. Um, I assume you've been streaming for a little while though. If you or any of the raiders need to get up to do a stretch, get some water, get some food, take care of yourself, that would be great. Totally understand. We'll be here for a little while. Um. Yeah. Are you giving time to get your computer working? Why was your computer not working? What was wrong with your computer, Fruity? 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, I totally understand if you need to take a break at all. Uh, I think we're going to finish this. We might finish this a little sooner than my usual stream time um, is concerned. So we might play some Poppy Playtime after this. Oh, it was just off and it's old and slow. Okay, understandable. Um, it's good to see you too. I've been doing all right. Um, been busy. Been very busy. School's been kicking my butt. <laughs> Had to take Lamia to the vet this morning or this afternoon. Just as a, as a follow up, she's doing totally okay. Um, yeah. I'm glad you like the welcome. I try to like cover as much information as possible. <laughs> about our stuff especially since we are a spooky channel um i know those vibes aren't for aren't for everybody but we try to make everything as comfortable and as accessible as possible um even given how spooky the content can be but again still totally understand if it's not for everybody um but yeah how have you been how are things i'm gonna wait for us to get back to the game because it's like i said it's end game stuff but i want to chat with y'all for a little bit <laughs> um but yeah, like I said, if you guys do need to take a break at all, totally understandable. Um, it's always good to, at the very least, get up and walk around a little bit post-stream. I know I, I like doing that. Um, but yeah, how have things been? How was uh, Animal Crossing? How are you liking the new content? I just picked it up again yesterday, so I started playing again. Oopsies! <laughs> uh, I started a new, a new island, so that's exciting. Also had a lot of work with school. Finally catching up though, good. It's, I don't know, this semester seemed extremely rough for a lot of us. Even if it's like, even if nothing's like gone wrong, it's just been a tough semester. I feel like winter semester in general usually is though, just with the change of seasons and like the holidays coming up and just the general stress of the end of the year. <laughs> um. Good! I'm glad you've been having fun with Animal Crossing. I need to get into the new content, because I haven't just yet, but I'm excited to. Um, so yeah, I'm good. I'm glad that it's been going well, and I'm glad that you're catching up with your work. That can be so stressful, trying to deal with all of that. But you're doing it! Yee! <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, we're playing Darkwood. Spooky, scary game. Very end of it. Uh, so I guess if anyone's planning on playing it themselves, now's the time to dip. Because spoilers. Spoiler alert. Um, but I think I'm going to get back into it. If we're all ready, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink a little bit of water before we do, actually. Because I realize I'm a little behind on that today. I know it's not a redemption, but if y'all want to take a drink of water as well, wouldn't hate that. Remember, it's important to take care of yourself. <laughs> there may be multiple endings, that is true. Um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen, though. Alright. Shall we go? Always. Always water reminders. Could open it if I had a lockpick. Well, I had a lockpick game! But then you stole everything from me. Oh no. Sorry, is this? This is like the beginning of the game. Like in the doctor's house? Ooh, and everything outside has changed, it looks like. Please. Locked. I need a key. Are we just forever stuck in this forest? We passed out. It's got blood on it. Wait, was there... There are some numbers, but they're kind of illegible. Is that us? Metal T 
table with leather belts on it. Okay, but are you gonna acknowledge the man on the table, my guy? We are just unbothered by anything going on. There's a shortcut there. Um, totally understandable. Do alert, take care of yourself. This is a problem. Um, it was lovely catching up with you, Lou. We should definitely, definitely chat some more. Barricade is too strong to dismantle. Oh, maybe that's not the way to go. What if we just turn that on? Fuck! It's fine. Need to find a way out of the tunnel. Need to find out in another. I need to find a way out in another part of the woods. I won't be able to get through this tunnel. It seems to be blocked. I don't. Please, game. We thought we were at the end. It's gonna be so rude if they fake us out again, honestly. Okay, so I can't go that way? Billion radio overgrown with roots. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um might be worth investigating according to the notes. The radio tower is located at the southwestern edge of the swamp. We are there. We've gotten the oxygen. We figured out where the rhyme goes to. We have done the mushroom granny. We figured out the explosion. Um, we did the primitive map because that led us to granny. Found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I will only have one shot of getting further down the passage. I feel it will lead me to the right place. Okay, but it didn't. Hey, game. The one place that you pointed me towards and said, this is it didn't do shit. So... Now what?
Floodgates just can be open now. Don't gotta deal with any of that nonsense. Cool. Love that for me. So that entire experience was a hallucination. Don't love that for us. That's a metal door, so I can't break it. And then there was this. Which I can't hurt. I am also extremely disappointed. Here I was being like, oh, this game has been so great and so wonderful. I don't... I wonder if... We'll find something new post night. Like, if we go to rest, then something will reveal itself to us. I don't know, though. I know I'm also just kind of annoyed that we, like, put that off. If I didn't need, like, I didn't need any of the, the items that I had, you know? And... I'm not, okay. Everyone else thought that the message that it gave us about the floodgate seemed extremely final, right? Like, oh, this is the last area. What are you gonna do about it? Because it seems like every, like, thus far, every quest that we've done in the swamp area has pointed towards the radio tower kind of being it. They did mention that, like, that talking tree in the village or whatever, but I haven't been able to get into the village. And I don't think that there is a way for me to get into the village. Outside of, like, maybe having gone through the quarry? But that seems weird, because the quarry is down here. And the village is up here. But there's a giant wall blocking the village from us gaining access to it. And there was no one there to talk to. Um, we've tried blowing up walls previously because I thought maybe that that was what we were supposed to do with it. Um, but walls don't blow up. <laughs> I don't know what else we're- I don't know what else to try. And we have, like, there's still sections that we really haven't, like, looked through. But I don't know... Do want a hint for the radio bunker? Kind of. As long as it's vague. <laughs> it points me in the right direction. Like, am I missing something? I was really hoping for us to, like, be able to finish this off tonight, you know? Ooh, excuse me. I won't run away just yet. And I will stay on the pause menu. I don't want time to progress while we're discussing what we're gonna do. While you're doing that, I am gonna grab my phone because I think it's fully charged. Not that I need it, but it's nice to just have in case. There it goes. Ooh. Big stretch. Help. Heal? I'm sorry, there's a dodge mechanic? Left control to jump back, dodging uses stamina. Press E to switch. It's the one thing you complain about in Soul Station. Closing the doors. Closing the doors. Gotta close the doors. Gotta close all the doors. But I thought I did. 
The issue, so the issue with the door that we can't open is that there's something blocking it on the other side. I think we're further than what you're reading. Because we had that issue already where, like, I tried to go through the door and it was like, oh, you can't do this. Um, but he mentioned that I needed to close the door behind him. And so I did. And then we got through. I can try to close all the doors. I'm gonna wait, though. Just one more time. That's a good hint, though. <laughs> At least the way that you have phrased it. Very good. For anyone potentially new who's hanging out, if you're in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think it has, no. Um, but if you're in a zombie apocalypse, remember to always close the door behind you. Uh, but yeah, we haven't had any sort of announcement that we're in the epilogue just yet. I can try to close the door. Do you want me to close all the doors? I can close all the doors. <laughs> I don't see why the doors up here would matter. So I'm not gonna close those. But the ones in- we're, We are talking about all the, the doors in the tunnel, right? If you win the dream sequence, it's a shortcut to the epilogue. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, we clearly did not. I did it bad. <laughs> I do- I appreciate that as a mechanic, though. Oh, gross. <laughs> Potentially... Potential hot take. I don't care for Markiplier. <laughs> I don't think he's particularly funny. Not a hot take? Okay. Good. I feel like people either like really love him or really hate him. And I don't I wouldn't say I hate him. I just don't. It's not my flavor. Okay. I have closed the doors. Boy is still pulsating over here. This is still blocked. Door seems to be blocked from the other side. Can't use the lever anymore. Doors are closed. It's hard to find a guide and not just people complaining that the game is impossible. Of course. Of course. There's an eye roll at people, not you, Fruity. Sorry. Let me <laughs> clarify. Um. Please. Not impossible. Just difficult. And they even warn- Is that the eyeball? Got our shortcut. I could have sworn I had gone into that corner. Oh well, we've got... <laughs> Not that it probably matters at this point. Um... I could wander into the lake. I'm just... I'm wary to do any exploring at the moment. Simply because we have... So much good stuff on us right now, you know? But I feel like it would not necessarily be a bad thing to kind of check out the lake area. This is horrific. Why is it this dark? I mean, I'm in the swamp. 
I just did, I did the radio tower, uh, the radio tower tunnel. I think Fruity and Travis are on it, but I don't know. <laughs> Again, I wonder, I'm of the mind to think that maybe we'll get more information after waking up. Like, surviving one more night. And then maybe someone shows up and tells us what we're supposed to do. But... I don't know. Nope. Nope. You weren't even where I was looking! You weren't even where I was looking! Swamper! Okay, well that's... useless now. I think he died after a single shot, but I panicked. Um... Alright, hold on a second. I don't necessarily, like, want to look at a walkthrough. I just want to... Poke, poke into it. Hold on. So we do need to get into the village, it looks like. But I don't know how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a walkthrough is very not necessarily helpful. Just depending on, like, the order that you've already done things in or how you've handled stuff. It also, like... I don't know. I mean, I guess the village would be, like, the next logical place to check out, but again, like, I don't know how to get in there and just kind of skimming over the guide, it doesn't necessarily give me any good ideas on how to do so. It's fine, we'll poke around over there. That's really- I just needed, like, a general push in the right direction. But now I'm like, I don't know that we're going to finish this tonight. <laughs> Which is a little disappointing because I was really looking forward to, to finishing it. Um, do have technically a half hour left of like my usual stream time. And I did say I was going to go a little late. So we might just push through a bit. Um... But that's fine. It's all good. <laughs> you're until you're done? Alright. Yeah, I mean, like, when I said going long, I meant, like, four, four and a half-ish hours. Uh, but we'll see how long this goes. Right, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I think the... Again, I wasn't really, like... I don't want to read a ton of the guide because I don't want to like spoil a ton of stuff for myself. I do want to try and figure out a lot of this for myself. We've done really, really well so far to like try and do this on our own unless is this what they were talking about? It is. Okay. Okay. 
Well, we have figured it out. I'm pretty sure we figured it out. Is time moving? Time is moving. Time, I need you to not move like that. I do remember seeing that hole, but I was too scared to, like, actually approach it. Um, here's the wreck! Here's the helicopter wreck that we saw on the map. Can I do anything with it? Can I get to the village from here, though? That's the other question. <laughs> Rope. I didn't even really need the cloth. Destroyed photo. Is that the doctor? Um, but yeah, I think we are headed in the right direction. Assault rifle. What has this done for us? Don't know that this has done anything for us. We found a photo and we didn't even make a comment about it. Um. Same guy. We're just reading it. <laughs> it's fine. Again, kind of, again, from what I... We just keep saying again. Um. <laughs> from what I was glancing at it... Or from what I saw upon glancing at it, it wasn't particularly clear. Um, and it was very vague and ambiguous. Okay, I... Don't see what I'm supposed to be seeing here. Did that use up... It did not use up my entire tank. Good. But I think this is what we're kind of looking for. Maybe there's another one to get us into the village. So what time is it? Five? That's a bit of a problem. Okay, we're not terribly far from our hideout. From the safe house. Search that body. I think I'll have time to kind of look around here. Before we have to run back. like this is this is supposedly the village right that is what what the map implies but there was no way to get there from the wreckage there is this over here though I we need to it's too late we need to go back it's six o'clock we will go straight here. Come morning. Is this my house? This is my house. My house. I need all of this goop to go. Bar barrel is filled with highly flammable substance. With a highly flammable substance, even. I'm still a little, little upset. Just at, like, I don't know, <laughs> that underground section. I get that they, like, need to kind of warn that maybe that's a- that is a way to get an ending. But I also need them to be a little more, like, clear. 
about it, you know? Oh, I should probably, like, go turn the generator on if I want to survive the night. I also- I do appreciate the fact that I can just hide in here and be fine for the most part. But it's still- I need- nope. I need flares. Um, but it does kind of suck because it's like- we don't have to do anything. We just have to stand there and move around if, like, the red orb shows up or whatever. Um. It's true. We could just die. I don't want to move around my inventory, though. And that is really only the benefit to- or the only benefit to surviving, isn't it? What if I just stand here and, like, you know what, before we do that... Mm, no, it's too far, isn't it? Oh well. Oh, I don't want to get too far in there. I don't want my stuff to be in there when I die. Right, Adren I get that adrenaline boost when my health gets really, really low, so I do double damage for a while. Forgot about that. It's a, it's a decent enough perk. Usually if I get to that point, though, I run away. I need all this goop to just get out of my house, though. Alright, that's where oxygen tanks go. <laughs> that's where bullets go. This is where the axe goes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Fruity. One of these days, we'll get it to, like, properly function for you. I'll I'll also just mess around with it some more. Because, like I said earlier, I, um... Hi, kitty. We did sort of just make it... Or applied it as an overlay very, very quickly. Nope, not allowed. I'll try to get the, the emotes functioning for tomorrow, um, as well as, like, check to see what's going on with the alerts. There they are! It only likes- it only likes y'all sometimes. Maybe you just gotta include an extra emote in there. Have- have we considered? Just put an extra emote in there. Oh, it might be a mobile thing. Allie, are you on mobile right now? <laughs> Okay. Were you on mobile earlier when it worked? Oh, Fruity's on desktop now. Ah, it just hates your boy then. Fruity, try try all Wario's and then maybe oh, I saw you in there. Here's the thing, you stupid spider. I saw you! And you saw me, and we could have been cool, but instead, you chose violence. So it works so long as you add an extra one on there? You break the one bouncy fish? The single bouncy fish? It skipped the Wario's! <gasps> I saw the fish bounce, and I assumed all the others went with it. I don't know what's going on. Are you shitting me? Is this how I get into the village? Crow, something must have scared them off from the huge tree crown towering over the village. There, there was a Wario in there. I did see it. Just messing with Rudy. Just Rudy. Only Rudy. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> uh, the figure of the shrine bears the signs of teeth. Like, as in someone's chewing on it? It's partially eaten. Somebody took the, the wood perk. <laughs> someone took the perk where they could eat wood and get health. Give me the map. 
Oh, it just marks the holes ruined. That's... Please. Game. Is time moving? Time is moving. This is... Unfortunate. Really. Destroyed well only has a... Those bad sounds. Format with a flower pattern. I have the key for this house. Roots entwine the cottage's interior all the way to the ceiling. I can hear someone crying. of a family was that was that mushroom grandma I think that was rush uh, mushroom grandma <gasps> get a fruit pop want a fruit pop get a fruit pop real thick and dark here for real um <laughs> And you typed in, but you typed in, you typed in the Isaac emote wrong. Fruity. Seems you blocked from the other side. No, mushroom man. <laughs> Did that real square? Uh. Explosion there again. We don't like mushroom men here. Honestly. At this point, they don't scare me so much. I mean, they do. They do scare me because I know that they can hurt me. But, like, when they show up, it's like, I can hear you, buddy. I... <laughs> You've got a very distinct laugh. As someone with an extremely distinct laugh, I get it. Okay, how am I supposed to... Is this a metal door? It is. Kinda like Mushroom Man, you just get his humor. I can't crawl through tiny windows. Tiny windows won't let me go through. I don't think. No, they won't let me go through. So... There's a blockade on this metal door. There are stompy lads everywhere. Are we, <laughs> we could, if we could just ground ourselves. I don't know where I'm going and I hate the fact that time is still moving while we're here. Who are you? That is a man. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That is a lad! Look at that lad! That's a heck of a lad. Wait, bloody hell, you're alive! The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? Cannot be, hmm? Oh, them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... He finally finds his arm- or he finally finds my arm and grabs it. He's got moon doing hands. He do. He do got the wiggly gross gross hand don't trust him he's a druid <laughs> got a thing against druids fruity for a moment he clutches my hand in silence then i hear him mumbling under his breath i don't have anything mate only this this chair bloody hell his gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling what the old man suddenly jumps up what are you saying feels long fingernails digging into my hand ain't no fucking tree that uh, looks like a tree, but those faces, I know them buggers, every single one of them, so close, so fake. They're not real, they're not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind, I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair, he sighs with relief, it disgusts me, it fucking disgusts me, this buggery, this fucking scum, all the time I have to listen to his pathetic blabber, 
complaining all the time. As if I were supposed to believe it's human. Uh, that it's Mizocha. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches uh, towards me with both hands, almost falling over out from his chair. Grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You lad, you've got your hands and legs. Strong arms. I, uh, I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. Fucking hell. I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. His eyes widen. His pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. I need to find the basement. Uh, Josiah's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree's too large. If uh, So if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try it from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Seems wicked hard. <laughs> Destroy them. Pull them up. Drag them. Twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. Can I show him the photo of the family? Cripple pulls a photo close to his face. Poor woman. Points to the old woman in the photograph. She was left alone when her daughter lost it entirely and ran off into the woods with her kids. The old lady was devastated. I don't know what became of her. Lads would say that even with her legs not working properly, she crawled into the woods looking for her daughter. That was around the time when our fields were getting flooded. Even a healthy, strong lad would have a hell of a task getting through all the water. Not to mention an old woman who could barely move. Yeah, show the, show the blind man all the old photos. It's fine. <laughs> he clearly can see him. I think, I think that's, I think the picture was of Mushroom Grandma. But I also think it was Elephant Mother? The mother with the, the children? Which complicates that whole story a little bit. Uh, the old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. It's the road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road is madness, is what it is. Thank you, sir. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes... The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back, pass me, and fall silent. They're like a nightmare. A bloody nightmare. Is that the, supposed to be the three? He just needs glasses. <laughs> what are you going on about again? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The war took me legs. Then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said. And my Zocha. The disease took her from me. All I have is this chair, this land. If you come across some wheels, two little wheels, uh, so that I can fix me chair, maybe you would be or maybe you would benefit from it as well. I don't have any wheels though, my dude. I had a wheel at one point, but like years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, uh, go there where that damned tree grows. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. They went into the deep dark woods. Never came back. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world, but home for me has always been here. And then that monstrous moaning abomination grew out of the ground. I blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place? Maybe they died at the swamps just like us. Typical druid behavior. I don't know! For a druid, he seems to hate the trees! <laughs> used to be different here. First the woods changed, the trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. Fought over food. Okay, that's everything he's got to say. Cool. Who are ya? Fish? Excuse me? Okay, well we have a shortcut open now. That's great. Um. No, not the f not no fishing. <laughs> it doesn't count because we just picked it up off the ground. Picked it up from a friggin' backpack, technically. Oh, I don't like these sounds. Also, that looks like a basement. Hatch 
latch leads to the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Food inventory. 826 potatoes. Uh, Josek is dead. We're down to 26. Six potatoes, half a loaf of bread, two liters of gasoline, plus one potato. Jezix. Jezix? Josex. Doesn't matter. Um, 822, none, 823, minus five potatoes, plus one dog. Three potatoes, four potatoes, three potatoes. No, I don't need it. Okay, so this is blocked. I do not like the sounds this tree is making talking tree. Oh, no! Is that... Is that supposed to be, like, a pig? Or is that a dog? You saw nothing. I did not fish. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. This is a bad tree, very bad tree. This is why we gotta destroy the tree! Uh, dozens of bowels repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Between the bowels, I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other being, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. gonna do what we can. You don't gotta tell me twice. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Kick the tree, hoping that the voices will go silent, try to climb the tree, look at the lips of the person talking to me. Let's look at the lips. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read its lips properly. I think one of the words is radio? I do not want to try to climb it. I'm scared that if I, like, touch it, it's gonna be an issue. I'm barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree boughs. Took everything from us, shouts come from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms sticks out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves! I mean, the dogs piss on your faces! Right next to him, a woman's head, wobbling from side to side, repeats, We were hungry. We're hungry. Another figure hiding its face under an enormous root lets out a chilling shriek. Quiet, fucking quiet. Leave us in peace. Shut up. He's interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from the st uh, from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. We stole it. High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hang side by side, uh, from their hands and legs grown. Hanging side by side from their hands and legs grown into the trunk are trying to bite each other's faces off. Notice the little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. A lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. Yeah, I think killing the tree, probably a really good option. Probably, probably for the best. Here's a sickle. I don't need it. Another hatch! Let's go. Please tell me that time will pause while we're in this bad hatch. It is 1231. And it is still 1231, so I assume yes. Well, Druid made it sound like we need to go down and kill its roots. That is, that is what he said. Hole in the wall of the basement. It must, be, it must have been made by growing roots um so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go go down here so who's there boom tank plus roots equals dead tree that's my assumption what do you want leave peter slowly sinking in the soft quaggy floor he barely moves as if, as if somebody is holding onto my ankles oh <laughs> No, thank you. Wow, what a 
room. <laughs> Giant barrel. Huge rusty barrel. Judging by the smell, it contains a lot of good gasoline inside. Okay, hold on. Before we press on ahead, I do want to just kind of get a see if I can interact with any of these things, and I cannot. I assume we gotta... Excuse you. Excuse you. Uh, excuse you! Okay. Um... Oh, there's less water in here. Because I wasn't able to walk over there. Huge rusty barrel, judging by the smell, it contains a lot of good gasoline inside. Who's to determine that it's good gasoline? Oh, that's a cow. Ah! trying to dig their way out? isn't great. Just excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Excuse me. Sorry. Gotta, just gotta, oh, excuse me. Let me, I gotta get through here real quick. Just if you would let me possibly just squeeze on past you. Oh, oh, sorry. No, nope, I gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta get on over there. Don't mind me, excuse me. Sorry, coming through, sorry. Oh, pardon. Is, does this tunnel end? Oh no.
this is a bit unfortunate. What a, what a, what a great tunnel. Okay, I need my flashlight. Rotten wooden crates overgrown with small roots. Oh, wow. That's a lot of space. Barrel's valve is rusty, but it seems to be working. Judging by the smell, there's gasoline inside. Let's leave it for a minute. Because um, I would like to kind of just take a peek around. The tunnel looks different. It was carved out by people sloppily and hastily. It's a, it's a miracle it still hasn't collapsed. Further part of the tunnel is blocked by rubble. Looking through a crack, I can see giant pulsating roots. Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. Um, let's... Let's remove this, this rubble first. Can we do that? Makeshift barricade blocking the entrance to the... Bear? Hold on. Can I... Cannot. Okay, that could be a potential issue. I was hoping that I could maybe remove the barricade, because that's gotta be the other the other tunnel, right? Dead end carved out by the roots. Or that's gotta be the other hatch, right? So I was kind of hoping that I could maybe uh unblock it. Let's open the valve. I grab the valve and try to turn it with all my strength. It suddenly breaks. Gasoline starts to leak out of the barrel. It slowly flows down the tunnel. The whole tunnel is flooded with gasoline. I must be careful. Where was that backpack? Can we... Okay, so if I drop it, it doesn't work. Uh, can I put it... There? And we're running. on a Friday night, right? Love committing arson. Huge tree will not yield to the flame so easily. It tries to smother the fire with its roots. It should be all over tomorrow. <laughs> a tremendous amount of arson. Best kind of arson, though. Come here. Come. I hate these sounds. Cripple's blind eyes stare hypnotized at the huge flame consuming the tree. It's as if the old man could see everything clearly now. The orange fire illuminates his pale, motionless face. And that's the same thing. Okay. So it said that it'll be over tomorrow, right? So let's leave now. Come back tomorrow. See how... <laughs> how everything's faring then? I do not like those sounds. Those are bad sounds. Just let this whole thing blow over in a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Problem solved.
solved, right? Look, the talking tree is gone, so like, we're good. I see no problems here. I think we've had, I think we've got it managed, under control, completely and totally not an issue anymore. It's all fine. Alright, look, I am going to... I don't remember my inventory. I thought I had space now. No, I don't because I have this. So let's pick that up. Um, oh, it is in my... I am going to put this in the middle of this room. I left the fucking generator on again. It's only been on for a couple of hours. We still have plenty of gasoline. How close do I have to be? Why won't you put it down? You absolute goober. Is it because it's in my house? My house. Sir. It's fine if we blow up the house. This was gonna be how I how I fixed this. This is how I was gonna fix this. No, you know what? Can I It's my house? For real! It's my house! Let me blow it up! <laughs> Game, do you pay rent on this place? I can't even say that. I don't pay rent on this place. Okay, I thought maybe if I closed the door I could get it closer, but I cannot. So... This isn't gonna clear it up, though. It's my house! It's my house, and I wanna blow it up! Focus it in there, buddy. Focus it in there. You absolute idiot. That did nothing! <laughs> this happens to you. Call the law office is a JG Wackler. It's my money and I want it now! It's, it's 3 p.m. I'm sad that that just blew up the door and didn't actually catch this on fire. A little unfortunate. Let's... I don't want to repair any of this stuff. I don't need to repair any of this stuff. Ugh. <sighs> We could just do the the old die in place, come back tomorrow trick. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do, because I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with any of this. <laughs> we don't need the reputation. I just need to be able to uh to move on. That's all. It's not the next day, though. That's a little disappointing. What time is it? It's the same fucking time! Well, this is fine. Game, please. I guess. I guess that makes sense, but I hope that maybe it was, like, late enough. Oh, excuse me. That I could just kind of cheese it. <laughs> no fishing. No fishing, Rudy. Hey, 
Hey, if you're taking a drink of water, you can't eject any. Oh, okay. Fish gives you essence. Well, in that case, goodbye, fish. <laughs> Is it nighttime yet? <coughs> <laughs> it's because there were too many Wario's in there. Oof. Doesn't like Hatchers either. I don't know why it's... It's so ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me, my god. Hold on. It just doesn't like Fruity. I mean, I do need to have it large. I thought maybe I made, like, the, the box too big. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Fruity. <laughs> I wish that I didn't dislike you. Um. Goodness gracious. We are just gonna kind of stand around here. It's fine. <coughs> like I said, I'll mess around with it some more tomorrow to see if I can, like, make it work. Also, why is there a three on the ground? Was that, like, a nine or a six? What the heck? Um. Oh. <gasps> did you Did you buy more men? Why did it only like the little the little cheese ball? But fruity, did you Did you buy more men? Cuz it kind of sounds like you bought more men. You may have bought more small plastic men. <laughs> well, there are worse things to do with your time. They were very affordable, good. I mean, if it's a secondhand shop, they usually are. I expect to see pictures after you've painted them, as per usual. Oh, God. Okay. Are you shitting me? It's six o'clock and that didn't count! You know what? I don't even care if everything's organized now or not. Right? <laughs> Look, both habits hurt your wallet. Well, one is less, less damaging to your health. Also, for real, game says no, no, no. No more cheesing. You gotta, you've got to do it. And it's like, game, please. <laughs> Tiny men, not a terrible habit to have. Uh, sex and space gladiators over heroin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are priorities right here. If I die at 7 o'clock, will it be fine? I think that counts. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep doing this. I don't think the game understands how few fucks I give right now. <laughs> also, Side note, I would be curious as to how difficult it would be to survive through the dream sequence. This is wrong. This is incorrect. Game, are you, are you gonna make me do this? It's gonna make me do this. That's fine. We can inventory manage inside our little hole. <clears throat> Naps, you'll get the dirt naps. I'm, I am upset. <laughs> I am upset. Look, 
I wonder if we have to because we've destroyed the tree. Like, if we actually have to make an attempt to survive the night. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Very reputable, of course. How could I- how could I be so mistaken? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still choking on my water. Um... Right, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Because we've committed a, a tremendous arson, as uh, Fruity liked to point out. Maybe we actually have to try and survive the night, which is fine. We can do that. As much as I don't want to, we can do that. <clears throat> can work out how to leave the radio tower after a rage quit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, look here. Um. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? Some people, some people just can't. No, 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 no. when the lights go out. Absolutely despise it. <clears throat> Why have they stopped sparking? Why did you do it? <coughs> I'm sorry, is my radio on fire? fire wait that's a good thing because i think they're well okay maybe that's not actually a good thing um real glad we don't hide in there anymore right i need you to be more specific disembodied voice we've done a lot i assume since there's fire it means why did we burn the tree yeah see house degooped perfect this is why the house didn't want us, uh, or the game didn't want us burning down the house, because it was like, mm -mm -mm, I got you covered, fam! Seems they didn't like the person. Ah! Ah! holding so far. What kind of shotgun is this? Single shot shotgun. Okay. <laughs> this would be why the game didn't want us to skip the night. I understand now. <clears throat> well, this is how we're going to deal with this situation. We're just going to Train the shotgun onto the door, and if they happen to bust through, that's a lot of fire, though. Tree says, burn me, I burn you! And I say, ha ha ha, I have an invincible room! I am scared that our flare is about to go out, though. <laughs> Do we kill the wolves? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, <laughs> I love smiley emotes. They're very good. Alright, come on. It's six it's six p or six AM. Let's go. <laughs> nope, only only the Bork emote shows up. I fucking love Smiley. <laughs> the Angie emote has been 
been my favorite. And now that it's animated, it just makes it even more perfect. I love the Bork one. I don't know what you're talking about. Bork is perfect. Bork is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Okay, that's all still gooped. Only Bork. Only Bork. It didn't de-goop. House is not de-gooped, nor is house burned down, and I'm a little upset. Right? I was also hoping that the goop would be gone, but the goop is still there! Game said psych. Nothing has been fixed. It's all a problem still. Alright, let's read our journal real fast. Um. Holes! I found a map with the word holes on it. It may be worth checking out. The cripple. I met a crippled ma old man in the flooded village. He's the last living inhabitant there. He begged me to destroy the talking tree. Uh, he claims I need. I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find its roots, which I need to burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of this abomination. An advice from a bl uh, blind, deaf old man with no legs is the only lead I have so far. It's not much, but I've grown accustomed to it. I encountered a talking tree. Its monstrous roots uh, blocked my way back. I saw human figures grown into its bark and branches. One of them tried to tell me something, but the words drowned in the other voices. I found the cellar under the tree. Unfortunately, it's completely flooded. Won't be able to progress any further, and it looks like... Uh, it looks like the flooded corridor is the only way out... Set the roots in the cellar on fire. The fire consumed the talking tree in its entirety. Even now, I can still hear it screaming. Seems like the cripple was right. The tree is enormous and it will probably continue burning throughout the night. I'll return here tomorrow. Alright. You heard the man. We're returning there tomorrow. It is tomorrow. <laughs> also, I appreciate y'all sticking around. I know we're doing this late. And I... Would normally just be like, eh, we'll get to it, like, next time or whatever. But, no, I want to be done. We're this close, right? Like, come on. We gotta finish it now. Um, right? We gotta finish! This is the run! <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, I don't need to go in there. I don't need to go in there. <laughs> this is a game that never ends. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's fine. It's fine. We, at, again, aside from that little hiccup uh, post-radio tower, we have more or less, like, had, like, a fairly clear path of where we were going at all times. And if we didn't, we had things that we could do. Um, it worked. Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel I'm approaching the end of my journey. Is it possible? Okay, I've heard that before, my guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. Where is our old man? What's the basement hatch? Where the fuck is the old dude? Old man. Is he over there? He should be over here. Why is he not there? Old man. Dig the rubble. <clears throat> Maybe he was the tree. I wouldn't put it past this game. No! <clears throat> Unfortunate. He did not hurt me nearly as much as I thought he was going to, though. The word thieves has been scratched out on the floor. <clears throat> the argument is too strong to dismantle. <clears throat> Excuse me. No. Huh? 
Come here. Fuck. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Out of your grossness. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot Gex. I'm gonna do a murder on Gex. Fucking watch me. Oh, it worked that time, Fruity. I think that was for you at least. Did a step on a bad thing. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Alcohol. Map. I've already found the burned cottage game. I think. I think I found the burned cottage. Oh, no, I didn't. I have to go north? Made shotgun. Gib. Actually, I should probably put that where the gasoline is. Okay. Um. There might have been. <clears throat> I kind of want to finish poking around here real fast. See if there's anything. But yeah, there. I'm pretty sure there was. Or at least, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to check to see where the tree was. I just kind of realized we hadn't really looked around the northern part of this place. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything crucial. I need this man to like. He's he, we've been working on our cardio all this time. He has to be able to run faster than, or for longer than he has been. <clears throat> Come on, my man. Um. Okay. I'm breathing bad spell smoke all this time. <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> I suppose. It is 12 p.m. Shooting up every, like every, <laughs> every night for like a month. I got the achievement. Only ashes remain. And it is still 12, so time is not moving. Um. Only had weird mushrooms and bad meat, too. Alright, okay. It was past, it was past noon when we went in. But it's staying, it was staying noon now. Can't do that now, okay. Cannot look at my map. Is this the road home? <gasps> a colorless goose see uh, sips from the cracks in the asphalt. Do you mean seeps? I think you mean seeps. Are we free? That's a good question. This heads back to town, but I kind of just want to see what it looks like. It's just covered by trees. Okay. Is this it? <clears throat> it sips the road. Freedom, is that you? Who was that? Those are just torches. Sign. Cross out sign reads Darkwood.
Wait, is this a cripple? <clears throat> it's a crippled man from the village. Sir, do you want me to, like, help you? I'm all here for you doing your thing on your own, but, like, this seems... Right? That's the name of the game? Title drop! <laughs> I don't want to, like, leave him on his own. I mean, yeah, no, here's a... <laughs> he seems to have it handled, but I don't want to not offer. It is the road home. We gotta stick with our friend, though. I wonder if I could have given him wheels. <laughs> Tough old druid, you don't need your help. For sure, for sure. I'll still hang out with him, though. He's a cool dude. So 100% expecting, expecting you to offer help and accidentally cleave him with your axe. But I didn't But I didn't do this. Also notice how I do this facing away from him. Look, this is it, right? We're gonna hang out with our friend, though. Just briefly. I want to see how far he gets. More than anything. And look, we've, we've committed to going this far anyhow. And it's... We've only been streaming for three and a half hours. Do what facing away from him? Do it facing away from who? Do this. Facing away from this man. You can't get me to do it. You can't get me to do a murder. One of the few times where I will not do a murder on our poor sweet man. Look at him! Just look at him go, though! Didn't eat a grandma. Got to ask the old man a question. No. Unacceptable. I don't wanna. I feel, I feel terrible just letting him, like, crawl his way through here. But, like, I can't interact with him. He stopped. Sir? Do we... No, because he's got his... He's got his health. His health is all here. You... No, not a pole! You're a monster! End the suffering. Ask him a question or leave him be. Please, I need everyone to vote immediately. You're terrible, whoever just voted and is suffering. How many minutes did you put on the poll? Excellent question. It's also gross that two of those options are murder. Alright, there's what? Four of you vaguely active in chat? That is four people responding to, to the poll. That's five people responding to the poll. What is happening? Did you... Oh, I see. I see. I understand. <laughs> Are you... Did you set it up for channel points or bits? Because I would... I hope it's just channel points. Look, here's a good way to get rid of your channel points, right? Okay, cool. Thank you, Travis. So, ask him a question is winning out. Oh no. <laughs> okay, nope, it's, it's, ask him a question, I'm sorry. Can we? <laughs> Voted for that one multiple times. Beautiful. Um, there's no way for me to just end it. Fuck, okay, well. Let's go. No, 100% also, also agree. Never bits. Let the record show I only voted the ones. Okay, you can stop. You can stop. I'm gonna do it. I love you, old man. You can stop voting in the poll! <laughs> My goodness. A body oh, has been shit. discovered! That one is so loud! 
Also, what voice mod do you want, Allie? Holy shit. GLaDOS cache? Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna need to turn down body discovery, because that was awful. Also, nice, Travis. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get that set up while it's loading, because I thought I had it open, but I didn't. I'm going to turn Discovered down. It's already down so much. Okay. Oh, my poor heart. Let's get this party started. GLaDOS should be on now. Hopefully, it is party time. Um, let me set of that timer so that we, we get five minutes of party time. Party time, party time. We made it to the end, it's party time. Let's go. It's time to go! We're gonna get to the end of this road and it's just gonna be more trees and it's gonna be really fucking unfortunate. I'ma ask you a question. How long is this road to home? Gonna ask a question to the old man. How long is this road to home? Do 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 do. How long is this road to home? 25 kilometers to the nearest town. Of course, this is broken. We asked him a question, but he's no help. He's dead silent on the subject. Wowie. <laughs> Wowie, Travis. The savagery of that comment. Again, I am so, like, I am, I'm pretty certain that we're gonna, like, find the the place that we started the game in and then the doctor is going to show up and it's going to be this terrible miserable loop of hellish punishment for some sins that we've committed in a past life you know sins such as trying to eat a grandma or uh doing a murder on an old old man an old disabled man Maybe saw how long the road is and got cold feet. <laughs> Yo! Fruity. Fruity, you're a monster. Fruity, you're a monster. Fruity Spruce contributed 1,575 channel points. Just to make it seem like I was a terrible human being, which... Joke's on them. You knew that already. Also, did that say epilogue? Um, so you can't get much colder than they already are. <laughs> it did? Okay. Good. What if it just secretly snuck chapter three in there? I have no inventory anymore. Could you? You must read and ask for it. No, oh, well. We've also seen that I don't give a shit what chat says sometimes. <laughs> hey, stream elements, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, well, there's that message from uh, Lou raining us earlier. <laughs> That's a, a little delayed. Just a little delayed. I like looked over and saw the emotes and was like, okay. <laughs> it did work. It just took a while. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> Towers. Oh, I like how that looks! Sorry, we haven't really seen anything, like, up tall, have we? Like, we've seen the trees, but we can't see those because they vanish when we hover over them. Sorry, that just looks, like, really neat. 
We gotta follow the wires, right? That'll lead us to somewhere. We can run like the wind, you're right! <gasps> no stamina, no health, no inventory, we're free! No, we still have stamina, we just can't see it. Um... Hello? They're gone! I can't talk to them. Who's going to eat the bread now? Oh, the birds, I'm sorry. They'll come back. Oh, or otherwise I'll... I'll eat your bread. I fucking love bread. <gasps> this is the place from my dream! Cause this was here! Ah, uh, yes! Motherfucking breadcrumbs! <laughs> my first floor neighbor. Just casually good day to you. Sorry, y'all. Party time is over. Ah, uh, yes, motherfucking breadcrumbs. All right, all right. Party time was great while it lasted. Am I just like supposed to just go home and act like everything was fine? Mailbox. Mine is located opposite the basement stairs. My mailbox. I think there's something inside. Postcard for my parents. I'll read it later. Just, again, acting like all of that was nothing. <gasps> this is my staircase. It's been here since I remember. Weird that no one ever tried to steal it. Sorry, we got a boss? Any spare change? I don't. I don't my keys fit. Was it all just... You're waking my kid! Get the hell away! No! No, let me in! Oh. Dupa is a Polish word for ass. Stupid cow. Are we... Okay. Were the woods all just a giant... Uh... Not an analogy. What is the word I'm looking for? Um, metaphor? For the plights of being an immigrant and trying to get out of a shitty country? Probably the word of that little punk from the third floor. Someone finally evicted them. Oh, what's a meadow for? <laughs> Same hat. I want to know what's upstairs. <laughs> Pleased to see you, mister. I haven't seen you in a while. I love you, I love bitch. You, bitch. I ain't gonna never, never gonna stop, stop loving you, you bitch. <laughs> Still green, even though I've never seen anyone tending to them. Maybe they feed on the discarded cigarette butts. Gross. Still green. <laughs> Good sound alerts. Sorry, we are doing a click. A click? A quick exploration of everything going on here. Door seems to be blocked from the other side. No, I think the door is blocked from this side. It's so green and pleasant, it's making us nervous. Can't see in there. Wait, is this my apartment? No, I wanted to look around more. Home sweet home. Game, I wanted to look around more. Don't want to leave my apartment, but I do! It's my wardrobe. Let's take off her coat. I might be wrong. Because it's been a minute. 
uh, our little sprite now kind of looks like the man who was crying on our bed way back in the dry meadow. Is this the apartment from our dream? I made you some soup, heat it up. Old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. Two weeks to find out. Smell fills the entire kitchen. Grab the largest dish from the close uh, closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. Don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. Looks, I mean, that looks like Campbell's soup. Not bad, though. Soup is soup. It's good soup. No, don't barricade your own door! None of my keys fit. Suzrek. You can pet the dog! Good boy! Good boy! You can pet the dog! It's a 10 out of 10 game. Pet the dog, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Bedroom key, give me that. Pet the dog, we gotta tell him he's a good boy. Kinda wanted to see if I could climb out of the, uh, the window. Black and white Reuben, a real luxury. Fortunately, it's broken. I'm very tired, I prefer to lay down on a regular bed. I got some range on that pet. I am so good at petting dogs that I can do it from across the room. It's my bed. My bed. The white crumpled sheets look as if I've just woken up. At last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelming lethar overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey. 43 days of human torment. Sedating warmth washes over me, a warmth of security and happiness. <laughs> Taking her shoes off. Aww. Good night, buddy. You deserve some real rest. <laughs> Thank you for the- Thank you for the clip, Travis. <laughs> Got the achievement Bliss. The rustle of the woods stretching away to the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. Eventually, fatigue washed over him, and the man fell into a deep, much-desired dream. Burning the tree opened the road home for many anguished inhabitants of the forest. Only three outcasts dressed in old rags and scraps uh, lamented over its charred remains. The three! They're upset. Well, they can be upset. The wolf finally satisfied his ever insatiable hunger. After he finished carefully gnawing on every single bone of what remained of Chicken Lady's sister, he disappeared into his hideout. He supposedly spent the rest of his existence chasing his own tail. Lol. I don't want to recap on everybody because everyone I love is dead. <laughs> After many days of a murderous toil, the villagers managed to clear the entrance to the old quarry. Unfortunately, the fate of the weakest and the most afflicted ones turned out to be a foregone conclusion. It was too late. The ones who survived to curse the stranger in the hat till the end of their days. Well, they should have thought about not killing me. Nope, it's true. He's, he's in space. He's in space. Our boy's in space. But also, Mushroom Granny is dead, and our snail buddy is dead, and... 
and uh, the woman living with the chickens left her hut and journeyed into the forest in search of her missing sister. Since then, the chicken lady's house is inhabited only by wild poultry. Truck is still doing science on the moon. He wonders how his good friend the stranger is doing. We should have ate grandma. You're right. 100% correct. Field Trek rose above the treetops in his rocket made out of scrap. He smiled as, peeking through the small plastic window of his spaceship, he saw the Milky Way stars moving at huge speed. I had to screenshot that. Barricaded cottage at the swamp became a prison for the three children. The oldest boy kept locked in his room following his escape attempt, but long remember his only journey through the woods and the visit in the house overgrown with white mushrooms. I regret taking that child back. Right, Peel Truck went to space! Allie was right. I was I was a fool to doubt our boy. <laughs> The inhabitant of the hut at the junkyard went into the woods, following distant whispers. When he was close to his destination, he got stuck between giant tree roots. Soon, hungry birds started to gather over his enormous body. Feeling his impending death, he desperately started trying to free himself from the roots that clutched him. Weakened after a long trip, he failed to fight them off and fell face down into the mud. Moments before death, he saw his reflection in a pool, a huge snail head. He then thought that he's never had such a strange dream and he wished to wake up. Snail friend. That was him at the at the radio tower. the fact that they do kind of like recap or like tell you what happened to, to all the characters whose whose quest lines you finished. Aww. That was a good game. I did only really care about P.O. Truck, but it's still nice to like know that they <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> His peel trick was fine. Not, not entirely wrong. Um, I do. It's nice to know that like they at least thought about like what happened to the other characters. Uh, which kind of makes me want to go back and like finish some of the other the other other stories, like the musician kid and um, trying to figure out how to get into like the the hunt not the hunter's house the creepy house and. A couple of those other places that we didn't do. I'd love to figure out how to get into the wedding, uh, the wedding area. Um, and I think if I play this again in my own time, I'm more willing to kind of like look things up so I can try and experience the other, the other options. I liked getting through this kind of. You got spoiled on the wedding. <gasps> oh no! Our table. It's broken! Okay, if it's- as long as it's just the- how you activate it, not necessarily, like, the actual event itself. I mean, it still sucks, but you get- you get what I'm saying. I think I'll look up, like, what it is, because I have no idea. Um, well, I think I- I think I saw that it was, like, like, it was some nighttime event, but I don't know, aside from that. Um... I like to recap the characters at the end kind of gives them motivation to play it again and do, some th do different things absolutely kind of like to see what what sort of differences it's i mean i still kind of wanted to uh, wanted to play through again and check out like some of the other plot lines that we missed um but having having the recaps really does kind of add that extra motivation of being like cool what else can i do you know um Meadows, if you answer the door when they're knocking on it, you sometimes get an invite. Okay. This means P.O. Trek can have a bad end. I think P.O. Trek's bad end is if you just don't get him the parts for the rocket. And why would you not get our boy the parts for his rocket? Um. Super confused.
confused by the ending, though. Like, what was the deal with the forest? I... Given the fact that our man was, like, acknowledged that the forest was real and we got a recap on all of the characters, I think it's exactly what they said it was. Some some contaminant got out, made the, the trees go wild, um, and take over a whole... The whole area. I mean, I'm sure there's an allegory in there somewhere. Like I said, it kind of vaguely reminded me of, like, the plight that immigrants go through while trying to escape a shitty situation that they're in and attempt to get somewhere else. That's a whole other side rant. But, like, um, Freaky Bad Forest is Freaky Bad Forest. Cool. Yeah, I think, I as far as, like, in-universe, I think it is just some experiment or some weird natural event that has occurred that is isolated in Darkwood um, where the forest has just overgrown everything. Mushrooms have poisoned the air and poisoned the people um, and turned them into monsters. And that's another reason why I kind of want to go back and like play some of the other routes and maybe take more time to like... I mean, I think I did a really good job finding more information but I'd love to try and find more to like really solidify some of the stuff. Um, there is a good ending might shed more light on stuff do you um, do you happen to know which ending we got? I don't think we got a bad ending right? I might look it up uh, but if there are multiple endings that just encourage ever we got the normal ending I'm fine with that I'm fine with a normal ending <laughs> Um, it's nice to know that there is a good ending that you can strive for with that said, it is a cool game. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Thank you, Travis, for recommending that we that we stream it. I've had this in my inventory since, like, 2015, basically, like, shortly after it came out. Um, and I played it for, like, an hour, but I had no idea what I was doing. I was not the same gamer then that I am now. <laughs> um, but I'm really glad that I, like, got through this. It was wonderful and I really like the fact that I got to share it with everyone. I don't know that I would have enjoyed this nearly as much if I hadn't streamed it. Um. Yes, good! It's weird coming to- it's like we finished plenty of games on stream before, right? I don't know, there's something about this one that just feels like really- that feels different in a good way. Like, this was really just a satisfying experience. I really enjoyed this, like, through and through. I know that there were parts where I got, like, frustrated just because it was difficult, but it was... It was challenging enough that I kept wanting to, like, fight through it and figure out what was going on. And there weren't huge parts of it that I felt like were a total slog either. It just, like... With the, with the tunnel, I think the big reason I got, like, frustrated at the beginning of this sit-down was just because, like, I was so certain that that was gonna get us to the end of the game. I'm glad that we are finished and that it wasn't too far off from where we were. Uh, but a lot of my frustration with that just came from the fact that I was like, oh, well, this is it, and, like, we're gonna be done today, and that's gonna be awesome. Um, and then to have it be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't think so. And then, yeah, and then I was mad because I couldn't beat Grandma. That's you. A hundred percent, that's the real reason. Um, but no, I would highly recommend other people check this out as well, uh, given that there are multiple endings. I imagine we get the good ending from skipping the whole last section uh, by doing the dream good. But that's something that we can all, you know, do and figure out. I want to see if I want to know where it where it saved. Because it was 43 days, right? Or was it 46? I think you have to do specific, specific things before and then do dream good. That would, I mean, that would make sense for sure. Um, but yeah. And then there's always the bad ending. You can always try to get the bad ending. And then there's the good ending. Um, looking at a lot of the... It was a 23 step list you saw for the true ending and this just opens us up to the epilogue okay good to know um let's go ahead and exit out of here but yeah that was a good game i really enjoyed that um and i'm glad you guys all seem to enjoy watching it 
Um, it doesn't look like too terribly many people have actually finished the game. Uh, cause let's see, I kind of want to look at my achievements real fast. I have 18 out or eight out of 15 done. Um, and according to Steam, only 4.2% of players have, have gone to bed in the epilogue. Only 2.3% of players trapped the villagers in the quarry. <laughs> uh, and only 4.3% of players burned the talking tree. A lot of these are, are like, um, are things that people like haven't done. It's kind of neat, but that just, I don't know, be one of the few who's, who's gotten towards the end, I guess. <laughs> um, we're going to call it there. There aren't too terribly many of us in chat. Do we want to do a raid or should we just call it for the night? I'm going to leave that entirely up to you guys. I plan on just going to bed immediately after this. Well, getting some dinner and then laying down and going to bed. Um, better gamer than Markiplier. Don't take much. <laughs> I don't want to throw shade at other people, but also I do. Um, prop's going to go to bed. If we're all just going to go to bed, we pretty much always do a raid. We'll probably just call it here for tonight. Um, and get back tomorrow uh before we go though i was planning on doing silent hill this weekend hopefully finishing it out this weekend um but my plan was for next week before we managed to hit the community goal um was to do in sound mine uh in sound mind um for our evening game do we want to finish silent hill 3 this weekend or do we want to start and maybe finish in sound of mind it's a, a puzzle survival horror i believe um yeah does anybody have a preference because if not we'll just we'll stick with the plan but if we've got a preference like the better when it was just yelling at fruity but now you can tailor it at everyone I think finishing Silent Hill would be neat. We can finish Silent Hill then. Um, and then after Wholesome Week, we will do um, Graveyard Keeper in the morning and uh, In Sound Mind in the evenings. Uh, we should be able to do finish Silent Hill 3 out this weekend. It's true. Fruity does always need to go to bed. So it is bedtime. We won't do a raid tonight. We'll make sure to raid some new people over the weekend and all that kind of stuff. Everyone take care like i said i really appreciate it um the fact that you guys were here and hanging out and stayed late uh i'm gonna go to bed don't worry don't worry i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna go to sleep uh but i appreciate it uh and i know everyone's understanding of the fact that like animals have needs and we need to take care of those but it still means a lot to me um that y'all would hang out as late as you have to finish out this dang game but we did it and it was good it is bedtime. I love you guys. Take care of your dang selves. We'll see you later. Sleep well. I love y'all. That's all we need to do. We're all just adding each other. Bedtime. 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 Time to go to bed. All right. I mean, yeah, that all tracks. Anyhow, I'm leaving. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>